This is the problem area. Behind these doors is our laundry room. It's just, it's basically a closet here. But this is the big problem here. So I, these shelves are just these rails with these flimsy brackets on them. And this is all coming down in the next earthquake. And the worst part about it is, is it may fall down here, right onto one of the cats when they're pooping. So what I want to do is make a sturdy cabinet that just is attached to the wall firmly with some cleats on the edge just to prevent anything from falling off. I got to keep in mind this switch here so there needs to be enough room that I can turn the light on and off. This towel bar here that we use to just dry dish towels, I can move that over to this side and then I've got this problem here, which I'd like to address by making a separate cabinet down here. Even though I've been trying to live my life with much more intention about what I bring into the house, living in a small house is always a challenge. It's just a challenge just to find enough space to keep the stuff that we do need. This is an organization project I've been putting off for far too long, but it's also one of the reasons why I like being a woodworker is that I can make this custom cabinet to fit that particular space. It's something I couldn't do if I had to just buy something off the rack. And as always, I've started out with a SketchUp plan just to simplify the building process as long as I have a good idea of what size this is going to be and what it needs to look like when I'm done. It's easy to go out to the shop and just kind of bang this out. I've left a spot here that represents the switch plate and a little gap here where it can easily reach in there. Over here is just a way that I lay out the boards in SketchUp just so I can see how much wood I'm going to need. So like this piece here is one sheet of plywood and these are the boards I'm going to need and I'll use this extra space down here for more shelves that will go across here all the way across. These will be adjustable shelves and these, these are going to be fixed shelves just to give this thing to make it really sturdy. Let me get rid of that. And then the back of the shelf is recessed like this so that I can add a fringe cleat along the top and I can screw that into the wall and then I'll be able to just hang this and then I can further secure it on the bottom. You guys always hear me talk about how I don't like to do a project unless I have some plans to work off of. Even if they're, even if it's just a project for my own use, I like to know what I'm getting myself into. And this was a good example of something that I, I designed the cabinet to the size I thought it would, I wanted it. And then as I got to laying it out on a sheet of plywood, it just didn't work out good enough. In other words, I would have had to have get a little bit extra plywood to make all these shelves work. So all I needed to do was just to size them down about two inches and then everything fit on the sheet of plywood so I was able to maximize it. That's the plywood I'm gonna cut up right now. A couple of weeks ago, I had a poll that 15,000 of you participated in, thank you. And I asked you about how often you use plans when you build projects and Honestly, the answers kind of surprised me. The, the largest block of you was 42% of you said that you rarely use plans other than maybe a few simple sketches. Only 9% of you said that you always follow plans. I don't know, I just thought that was really enlightening because I guess I'm in that 9% because I always make plans of some sort before I approach a project. But hey, whatever works for you. I've set up some dado blades in my saw so that I can cut some rabbits on the ends of these frame pieces. Next I can cut dados for the center vertical divider and the stationary shelf supports. My workbench isn't big enough for this cabinet to lay it out, so I'm going to try to set it up on the floor. The biggest problem with my floor is that it's completely uneven. So, just be a little bit tricky here. Let's see if I can clamp this together. I always like to dry assemble my projects just to make sure everything 
fits together the way I think it's gonna fit together. Now I can take a measurement for these inside shelves and so it'll be accurate inside of those dados, but I don't wanna measure up here because this board is probably flexing one way or the other. So a better method is just to measure the distance to this down at the base or at the top, but I'll double check both and make sure that I'm right in the center. I'll glue and tack this together. It's just too big to try to clamp the whole thing up. Before I cut and install the back, I thought I'd drill some shelf pin holes. Attaching this back to the cabinet is going to make it way more sturdy. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it off here for now, let this dry overnight. I have to run up to the hardware store and get some more of those shelf pins. Then tomorrow I can just cut out the rest of the shelves, attach the French cleats, and hang it on the wall. I'll see you next time.